Well, while I'm a little bit late to this, signing number five for Newport County in preparations for the 23-24 season was confirmed in that of Shane McLaughlin, who joins on a two-year deal following the expiration of his deal at Salford City. Let's get into talking about him. So a 26-year-old natural kind of midfielder, but from what I've seen, he can also play wing back. So that seems to be the position we could look into playing him, potentially the uh, Aaron Lewis replacement, as he's just been confirmed as joining Mansfield, which I'll probably do a video about that over the next day or so. But regardless, Shane McLaughlin has had a pretty uh, good experience within the EFL, or just English football, playing for Ipswich at youth levels and a little bit at senior levels before two loan spells at Bromley, playing for then AFC Wimbledon, Morecambe and Salford before deciding to join us. From what I've seen from Morecambe and Salford fans, they rate him very highly as more of a potential holding midfielder, box to box. But like I said, he's been seen to play wing backs as well. So that will probably be the position we play him in because we've got plenty of depth in that of the midfield. But of course, with the whole wing back situations or the departures in those situations with Aaron Lewis and Cameron Norman, of course, Having a McLaughlin here to play potentially on the wing back is highly beneficial. Always love versatility in a player. And you always love when uh, fans of clubs he used to play for rate him, which, like I said, Morecambe and Salford fans tend to rate him as a player. He was involved in the playoff run that Salford were on last season. And, you know, that brings a good mentality, a good, strong... Um, kind of bit of credentials to him joining us because he knows what it's like to be in the playoffs. He knows what it's like to play in the pressure. So with that, we've got very good experience and a very good solid player in the uh, potential midfield or wing back roles, as I mentioned. In terms of what's been said, of course, Cochrane is really happy that the man, the, the uh, deal has went over the line saying that Shane is good in the, like a lot of aspects, but in the role that he is in, he will be great in it, and he's got a very good um, determination and mindset and one of ambition that we can do well next season. And that was said by Shane himself in exactly the same interview on the Newport Club website and where he said that he had a phone call and kind of meetings with Graham Coughlin and found out the ambitions. And yeah, it's something that he is proud to be a part of and he can't wait to start. So as I'm recording this, it is on the day of the Ponty Pre Ponty Prid game, however you want to pronounce it. Potentially, we could be seeing his first looks on the uh, field and potentially see what position of the pitch he will play on. But yeah, other than that, let me know what you think of this signing down below in the comments. Personally, I think it's, like I said, a very sensible one. You always like a player that's rated by clubs as fans that he used to play for and a versatile player at that is one that we can all be there for and hopefully he could uh, contest with that at Harrison Bright and really push him as well as a player and you know it seems to be a positive move not only for him but for the entirety of the Newport squad that play in the similar positions that he plays in. So yeah like I said let me know what you think of this deal down below in the comments. I would have recorded the video on the day of the signing but couple of things got in the way so I couldn't so instead I've decided to do it today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 by the start of the season. Support the channel in whatever way you see fit using the link in the description and yeah I hope you all enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening whenever you're watching this and take care.